Midjourney dropped a game-changing feature and it fixes the problem with creating consistent characters. Let's dive in. Here's a brief preview of what to expect in this video. We will first create the images and then animate them. Let's get started. What is Omni Reference? In Midjourney version 7, it's a way to lock a specific character into your creations so they stay consistent across every scene. Adjust the Omni Reference weight with a slider between 1 and 1000 to have that character subtly influence the image or appear as close as possible. The first thing we need is a prompt that I generated using ChatGPT. Beautiful Brazilian woman, mid-twenties, confident and elegant, long, dark, wavy hair, warm smile, wearing a stylish summer dress, standing on Ipanema Beach at golden hour, cinematic lighting, photorealistic, ultra-detailed, 8K. I think this one looks the best, so we will use it as our reference image. Simply drag it into Omni Reference at the top and click on Settings. Make sure to use version 7. Omni Reference is not available in previous versions. If you select an earlier version, such as 6.1, it only provides character reference. You can now adjust the image size, choosing different format like 16 to 9. We can use either standard or raw. Typically, raw offers a more realistic image, while standard is often more stylized. Our first prompt is, a woman is standing next to a jeep in the jungle. Let's see the result. As you can see, our model from the reference image has been adapted to the new environment. Here's a direct comparison of the reference image and the four results. For the next prompt, we will use a model walking down the runway in a white wedding dress. In the settings, we will adjust the Omni strength this time. It can range from 1 to 1000, but from my experience, the best results are typically achieved with values between 100 and 250. You can test this on your own to find the best setting. I will use a different Omni strength every time to show you the difference. For this image, we'll set it to 150, click on Submit, and check the results again. Here's the first image, the second image, the third image, and the fourth image. Again, our reference image in direct comparison to all four results at a glance. Before we continue, here's a brief note about Omni Reference Weight. This is a screenshot from the Midjourney page itself. They recommend not going above values of 400, as otherwise it becomes unpredictable. Let's move on to the next prompt, a woman kissing her boyfriend. This time we select an Omni Strength of 200 and click Submit. Here are the results. Let's check it in a direct comparison. For our next example, we use the prompt. A woman is riding on a white horse on the beach with an Omni Strength of 250. Here is a direct comparison, again with the reference image. Now we will use the prompt. A woman is standing below a waterfall in the jungle with an Omni Strength value of 300. Here is the direct comparison. We will drag and drop the reference image again and choose the prompt. A woman is standing in the middle of the jungle eating a peach, this time with an Omni Strength of just 50. Here is the result. As you can see, even with a lower Omni Strength of 50, it still resembles our reference model quite good. Nevertheless, it seems to me that the facial features at 50 are not quite as precise as those of our model in the reference image. We bring back our reference image, drag and drop it here, and set an Omni Strength of 500. A woman is drinking a cocktail in a rooftop bar. Here are the results in a summary for direct comparison. At 500, the result seems a bit too plastic. I need to test it further to see if that is always the case. Generally, I've had the best experiences with strengths below 250. Finally, for our last prompt, we have a close-up of a woman's face looking directly into the camera with a strength of 275.
Here are all the images in a summary. Now we can also animate our pictures. That's a very cool new mid-journey feature. If you click on the image, you have more detailed options like slow or high motion. You can also use manual to tell mid-journey how to animate the picture. But auto works very well too. I will now animate the best image from all our results and provide you with a summary. Enjoy!